My name is Michelle, and I'm here today to talk to you about Idaho Spuds potatoes. When you are not in the mood to sit and peel what would seem like a million and one potatoes, Idaho Spuds is the quick and easy route to go. And usually when you think of potatoes, I'm sure you're not thinking of them for breakfast. Well, I've got a fantastic recipe for potato waffles that your family is sure to enjoy any day of the week. Making mashed potatoes has never been so easy. It's as simple as three simple steps. We're going to start by adding one cup of water, two tablespoons of milk, and we're gonna go ahead and put in one tablespoon of butter. And we're just gonna let that come to a boil and let the butter melt. We're now going to add our salt, which is just a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then I have two thirds of a cup of Idaho spuds and we're just going to put it right in. Turn off your heat, give it a quick stir and let it sit for about 30 seconds. What's better in the morning than waffles? And what makes these waffles so fantastic is that they have Idaho spuds in them. Potatoes, you say, yes. And these are going to knock the socks off of your family. I'm going to start out with my all purpose flour that we're just gonna put in there. I've got some granulated sugar, some baking powder, and cinnamon. And let's just combine these two up so that all the ingredients mix real nice. Now, in this bowl, we're going to add our mashed potatoes that we've already prepared, some milk, three eggs, I've also got some melted butter, and we've got some sour cream. And I'm just gonna borrow that from there. So, let's combine all of these ingredients. Mix it up real well, make it homogenous. Let's start adding our flour mixture. Okay. And I'm just gonna put just a little bit in at a time you can already smell the cinnamon. It smells so good. It smells like the morning. It smells delicious. I'm just gonna pour it right into the center of my waffle maker. And there we go. Get that in there. And voila, we just put it down. It takes about three to five minutes for each waffle to cook and they'll be golden and delicious and tasty. So the best part about these waffles is that while they're cooking, we can make this fantastically easy and delicious apple topping that we'll, we can put on top of it. So we're gonna start out with one tablespoon of butter. And then I have two green tart apples. You could use red apples. I just happen to like the green ones that I've just kind of chopped up. There's no real rhyme or reason to it. And we're gonna let these apples cook down in this butter for just about two to three minutes. Once these apples have cooked down for a few minutes, we're gonna take one cup of maple syrup and we're just gonna pour it right on top. And we're gonna let that cook down for about another minute or two. My waffles are done and oh, it smells like cinnamon. No one would ever know that these are made with mashed potatoes. I mean, really, and they are fluffy and play, oh, they're just full of flavor. Let's pour some of our maple apple topping on there. Oh, the apples look so good. Put a little bit of whipped cream topping on there. All right. Go out there, give this a try. Idaho Spuds, Signature Bits. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to go online and check us out at idahospuds.com.